What we're gonna keep working on these totem poles today. I would like you, if for some reason you still need to do some pencil, I would like you to finish up with pencil. Then I would like you to trace things out with marker. Um, some of mine is already traced, but I'd like you to trace it out. And once we're done tracing, I do want you to erase any of the pencil that you can still see. So, if you have some other areas where you do want to add some thicker line um, and fill something in, you may. Like you can see that I have done that into these sections of the inside of the mouth for this. Um, or like this is, looks like a little bit of a mistake, so I could just make that line a little bit thicker or wider. You can do that. Then when you're done, I would like you to erase any of the pencil that you can see. And then I'm gonna move over to this one. This one already has some colored on it. So we'll move over to this one. And with the coloring, I am gonna really connect to all the things that I practiced this year with um, tracing with one color, filling with another, doing some shading and mixing. Um, I will try to remember to give you a white pencil. This white colored pencil works really nice for um, details like the edges of the eyes. Um, you can see that I'm working on doing some of the teeth. So um, since those things are so small, it would be nice for you to have a, a white pencil to be able to fill those spaces in and not cover up the marker line. Okay. Now, please don't drop this on the floor. Um, it could roll off the table, so just make sure that you put it in a good spot towards the middle of your table so it doesn't fall on the floor. Now, when I'm adding color to this, I am gonna be thinking about um, things like, for example, red. Red is something that I could trace with, and then I could fill it with pink, because red is just like pink and I can take those two colors and put them together. So I'm gonna trace with this red, and then I'm gonna fill with this pink. I encourage you to press the color on hard, especially when you're doing that mix, so it creates a nice blend. Now I do wanna do this shark with some um, some gray, but I think if I use uh, blue first to outline stuff and then I fill it with gray, that could be a cool mix. So gray could work with some different things. So you can see that I'm outlining, outlining these shapes. And I'm noticing that I'm thinking these gills might get covered up if I'm not careful, so. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add some white to these so that those don't get covered up. As well, I'm thinking that if it's a new shape, it's gonna be a new color. So I don't wanna color on these eyes because those are a new shape, so those are gonna be a new color. So if I trace with this. Now blue could go with green, blue could go with purple, and in this example, I'm gonna do blue with my gray. So I'm tracing all those shapes pressing it on hard. I'll fill it in just a little more lightly so that it will help blend with that gray. And I missed that area of the mouth right there, so fill that in. And then I'll take my gray and we'll mix it. Now I've got kind of this fun blue-gray color for my shark, like it's swimming underwater or something. So you can see I'm trying to fill up those spaces. Traditional totem poles have, um, you can see I use some more traditional colors down here. You'll, you'll see that a lot of totem poles have 
um, green, um, red, white, and black, but you can make yours as colorful as you want. It doesn't have to be those traditional colors. You can see that this does have a lot of detail, so it's gonna take me a while to color it. That's one of the reasons that I colored this bottom one already before I made the video, so it wouldn't take quite as long. And then if I'm using some darker colors like this, I think that I will pair them with some, uh, some brighter colors. So that's why I use the red and the pink for the mouth, because if I use a darker color, um, like blue or purple or black, it might not stand out as much. So we'll finish filling that in. And then maybe for the um, space around these eyes, I could use some orange because that would be nice and bright and mix the orange maybe with some yellow. If it's a really tiny shape, I suppose that you don't have to trace with one and fill with another. Um, but I would like you to do as much mixing as possible. Now this is a new shape, so that's gonna be a new color. That's why I made that white. And so now I think that I'm gonna do a little bit of purple on the inside, and it's almost taken up that whole shape. So then I might mix it with a little bit of this lighter purple. And then I think that I do like this up here, so I'm gonna do these shapes purple and then I'm going to fill them with pink and I've got one well I might as well carry that pattern down here let's use that as well down in this area and then I'm thinking well if I take something that I've already used like maybe um, this orange and yellow and bring that up here. Maybe it would be good to do a little bit of orange and then I'll fill it with red since I haven't done that one, but it could warm up those colors a little bit and make it kind of balance out what I already have. So we'll do that with uh, a little bit of this red. Then when this one's done and that whole shape is colored carefully, then I would work up to my next shape, okay? So right now, just to point out some examples, um, I do, it is okay to do two different colors of green. So I've got a dark green and a light green. This one is purple and red. Um, this one is dark blue and light blue. This one is pink and orange. Um, this one is red and pink. And feel free to leave the whites um, white on their own. You just want to make sure you're brushing it off and cleaning it off as you go so that you don't, um, the white doesn't smear into your color. I will finish coloring these and we're going to cut out these edges and glue it to another paper to create a background for your totem pole um, in the coming weeks. So let's do a good job working on these and using the color wheel to mix and if it's a new shape please make it a new color.